Yo, 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 what is going on, my fellow cloners? I come here to show you the seventh installment to the Felucia Mock series. Now, I believe this one is titled Discovery. I'm not sure. If it's not, then that's next one. Because I have all these pre planned out and then on like a, on a Google Doc and then. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. What? Sorry about that. I gotta unplug my phone now when I do these because this is like the seventh time this happened. Anyway, this, like I said, is Felucia 7, and uh, we'll go over the overview. I'll show some parts in the, like, the terrain. I'll go over the story. We'll do another overview, and I'll let you guys go. So let's get right on into that overview. Alright, so here is the overview. So you see there are three section three sections to this mock. We have a vegetated area over here, we have a pathway, we have another vegetated area over here with the crash speeder. And then over here, right between these little fungal things, we have a small little like sinkhole, and we'll go over that. So we'll do an overview. The base colors of this mock are dark green brown and tan. If you don't know what I mean by base colors, it's the plates that are in the very bottom. So like the base color of red attack here would be tan, dark tan, and brown. So here, like I said, is the overview. We'll go over the pathway, the crash speeder, and all of that when I'm done. Alrighty. So if we look here, I have added a few of my favorite plants, like this one here and this one here. I don't have a name for these, but they are, I just call them the purple things. I add these, I think, in every mock, well, at least the same type of, like, bendy type thing. I know the first four didn't have purple ones, they had, um, uh, like, blue ones, but I changed them to purple, because I have a lot of purple studs. So I added two of those. Over here, we have this, I brought these back, I did have these in, like, Felucia 1, 2, and 3. And uh, I brought them back, and if you guys like these, please comment down below what you think of these. I think they're alright. I might keep them because they're a little thicker than the purple things, which are very thin. And over here, I added the fan favorite fungal tree. I probably, maybe, possibly, might buy another one of those blue things so I can do another one of those fungal trees down the line. But as of right now, I don't have the money. I don't have a job, but we'll get to that probably never. All right, let's go right into this section of the terrain, then we'll jump to the pathway, and then we'll jump to the other side of the terrain, and then we'll get into the story. All right, so this video is probably going to be long if I go into great detail, so we're not going to go into great detail, and I'm sorry about that shakiness. Here you see we have a purple patch, which I like to add in my Felucia mock series. Here is that small little... Thing I was talking about, the sinkhole, and there is some water, and this droid is currently falling into it. And you're asking, oh, why are there droids? I thought Ahsoka was alone. Uh, I'll tell you the storyline here in a second. As you see, we added a lot of these three tall bamboo with stem grass pieces on top everywhere, just to show that this part of Felucia is very dense. Alright, here is the pathway. This is probably my second favorite pathway I've ever done. We have a compilation I think would be the correct word, of dark tan 1x1s, tan 1x1s, sand green 1x2s, tan and dark tan 1x2s, and I have some dark medium flesh, which I actually like the color, and that color is right about there, right underneath the speeder. And the pathway runs along, and we have some plants and vegetation in it, with a bunch of crashed and destroyed droids, and Ahsoka is walking in the middle with her lightsaber like I said, I will go over why she has that here in a second. Alright, onto this side of the terrain. I already went over the fungal tree. There's another purple patch right there, as you can see. Here's the crush speeder, which I'll tell you the story of that in just a minute. And then here, I added this new type of tree I built on the stream. The viewers thought this was a really cool addition. It's kind of like, it's not lava flying out. It's just using uh, orange, trans orange and trans red pieces. Maybe this will make a return in the future. Maybe not. Not 100% sure. So let's get right on into the story. 
a real quick overview of the this again, and then we'll get right out into the outro. So see you guys in the story. All right, so basically what happened is in episode, well, not episode, part six, Ahsoka made a camp. She drank the water from the bacteria-filled, like, ravine that was in uh, part five. She drank it. She came very ill. She's very ill right now. I can't really show that in Lego, but she's just very ill. And keep that in mind. She's ill. And as she was walking, she came across these, like, dead droids in a crash speeder bike, as you can see right there. It's the droid speeder bike with a, if I can get that up, some grass out of the way, with a uh, commander droid, like, dead. Not commando, but commander. Ooh, there's a few more droids scattered around, like, there. You saw the one in the ravine, and I think there's, and there's one behind Ahsoka. And she's walking, and she didn't know if there was any more, so she drew out her yellow shoto that she has. Well, I mean, in the TV show, it's more of like a greenish-yellow, but my favorite lightsaber color is yellow, so I have her I have her as yellow. And so, basically, she's following the path of these dead, well, they're not dead, these deactivated-slash-destroyed droids... And what she finds next part will be shocking to you guys. So, that basically is the storyline for this. She basically walks, finds a bunch of destroyed, deactivated droids, and she draws her lightsaber, and she continues the path down. So, there's the speeder, there's Ahsoka, dead droids, terrain. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we shall, well, I guess I'll do the outro right here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to go follow me and Novalog on Instagram. Links for both are down in the description below. Those where you get behind the scenes look at what Novalog and I are doing. Other than that, uh, if you like this video, leave a like. I know it's kind of long. I apologize. Also, if you have not subscribed and you want to see awesome LEGO content every Tuesday and every other Thursday, make sure you subscribe to this guy. His name is Clone Production Studios. Really good YouTuber. Make sure you go check him out. Other than that, I shall leave you guys. I want you to have yourselves a very nice day, and I hope you all had a very nice holiday, whatever holiday you celebrated. Uh, Christmas, Hanukkah, and Kwanzaa. I don't know if there's any around this time. If there is, leave a comment down below. So I will just say happy holidays. Be a lot easier. So I hope you had a great holiday, and I want you to have yourselves a very nice day. And this is Clone Production Studios, signing off. Peace.